Good afternoon. From the Second Age of Reason. We're here today to talk to you about a topic of re extreme relevance. The topic is the progress of World War III. We are currently enduring at this moment in 2013. The war has been raging since 2008 when the uh, economic crisis was born. That was actually the Pearl Harbor moment. Most people did not catch it. They just thought it was something the government had to do and the banks had to do and everything had to be taken care of. But, <clears throat> the too big to fail are much bigger to fail. In fact, they're too big to jail. And so they can, they can do what they want with impunity now. And as of 2013, we have a new front open up in this war. And the front is marked by the recent events in Cyprus. Cyprus became part of the European Union in order to take advantage of its largesse and culture. However, it was all put onto a balance sheet that was imbued to them as debt, which debt they are supposed to have to repay. They don't do budgeting a certain way, so they've gotten this debt, and the European Union has insisted that they pay it back some sort of way, especially by having high taxes and austerity measures. In other words, you pay more and get less or nothing. So, I think they put it to the vote of the Cyprus Parliament, their legislatures. And knowing how people are, because they're Greeks and Turks, they thought about it, and I think they rejected the idea of going into everybody's bank account, into their savings, and skimming off 10%. And it's like, we're going to, in, in, what do you call that? We're going to invoke our sovereignty. And we'll say, no, we're Cy Cyprus, we don't feel we should have to pay it by skimming it off of people's bank accounts. Well now, that invoked in some little fine print from the contract they signed when they joined the European Union, the new Holy Roman Empire, that said, if, you, uh, if we decide that you have to help out with economic matters, you have to comply with whatever we say, and you have no recourse. So, after the legislature rejected that, the economic stability, whatever it is, mechanism, took over and said, you don't have a choice in the future. We're going to be taking 40% out of your savings account. As if the bank accounts, savings accounts, pay any decent interest anymore. I don't know, last time I looked in America, bank accounts are paying like a tenth of 1%. So this is what I would, in, a, in lieu of inflation, that's already punitive. Uh, this returns on investment. And then this comes on top of it. They're going to call it a tax. A tax. To pay back the debt. <clears throat> well, let's put it in a little bit of an interesting light, because it's actually, to me, it looks like a scam. Because Cyprus needs some cash money to keep their operations going. You know, to keep the lights on and all that. So they're going to have, they're going to skim X percent off of everybody's savings account to give them a loan. So they're taking money from them to give money back to them and charge interest on top of it. So to me, it looks like a royal scam of immense magnitude. As you can imagine, this talk going back and forth has alarmed the people and there's been a run on the banks to which effect all the banks were closed. Not long after that, all of the ATM teller machines ran out of money. So it's been two weeks without the banks. And this is making something very clear. Of course, it makes two, they went, there's two things very clear, but everybody wants you to see their thing. The number one thing it makes very clear 
is that they're saying that the banks don't know what they're doing and they need a higher authority in order to keep the banks open. To which the European Union will say, well, we have this national or international financial entity now going to be the bank of the world. Or, as the most would also say, well, it's their money. It belongs to them. Why is the bank closed? They should give the people the money they have and the deposit. So if, if you put your money in a bank and you can't get the money out, is it really your money anymore? So, all I can imagine is it will make Europe start to wonder because if Cyprus, a European Union member, has their bank accounts scalped, I think they're also trying to get the money from the Russians that have their money deposited there, and the British who have their money deposited there. They're probably the bigger depositors. And they'll take a bigger cut to finance the whole thing. <clears throat> I call that bank robbery. But it's all perfectly legal. Europe better think about it, because if they pull it off and they do confiscate the savings of Cypriots. Soon it will be Spaniards, Italians, Portuguese, Irish. And after they're done with the weaker, poorer countries, they'll be coming after France, England, and Germany. Now, it sounds like it's just a European thing. But I'll tell you something that if you don't know it already, you should know it. All the banks on the planet are connected. They're all one. They all know each other's business. They may as well be one. And what they want, here's the end game. They're going to take and scalp the Europeans next. They'll be bank runs in Europe. And then, because of that panic, people will start to wonder in America. And although I don't think Americans are a little more not as good at savings, they're going to take some haircuts here. All they're trying at the moment to, to use quantitative easing to generate hyperinflation is not going to work because they've made the mistake of not giving all that money they print. It's supposed to get into the hands of the common man so he can go up there and chase the goods with more and more dollars, but they're not getting more and more dollars, so the prices are staying sort of stable. I mean, it still could happen. That's why some people are recommending investing in silver and gold. They've mentioned Bitcoin, but to me, if your cash money is dependent on a technology, you are in trouble. Because when there's a technology, technology can be controlled, and then they can control your access to your stuff with their technology. And that's the whole problem. And that's what the end game is. They want to do away with cash money, and they'll say, well, only criminals and ill-gotten gains are done in cash. So we have to get rid of cash. We're going to make all the money electronic. All the money will be true and good, and if we know of a bad person, we can just turn off their money. Well, it sounds good on the surface, but how do you define bad? Who are the bad people? So, I'm just saying, that's the end game, is the destruction of all money cash money especially, and then they will want you to work through their banking institutions which will be ruling the world. You can access your money as long as you obey. And they will put many things in place to enforce that. I don't know if you've noticed the in incursion of the police and surveillance state. The drones which are used in military operations will be coming home to fly over your own house. So I just, I'm just kind of painting the picture so you can see where things are going, the end game. All the events you see are headed towards a certain set of goals. And maybe it should be our goal to get in the way and change those goals. So that's the progress report on World War III. I encourage you to comment, discuss, put things below. Uh, like it, favorite it, whatever. So, until later, 
we'll be seeing you. Hang on to your cash. Cash is freedom. Cash is yours. Cash puts you in control. And I'll be off until next time.